Hello everyone. As you know, Living Well Month encompasses a lot of things. And one of those things is financial wellness. Financial wellness is an integral part of your overall wellness because it allows you to be able to afford uh, the things that you need in life and allows you to be able to take care of your family, uh, your loved ones, or even be able to give to others. Financial wellness contains your work or occupation that provides a means to live, debt reduction and how to avoid unnecessary debt, savings, emergency, retirement, investment, financial literacy and resources for understanding finances. Work, job, occupation, whatever you prefer to call it, is essentially a means of earning income in order to live within your means. Some of the things you might want to consider, does your job allow you to meet your obligations, such as providing for yourself, family, or paying off debt? Are you working in a field that you actually enjoy? Are you thinking of switching up where you are working? These are just some things to consider regarding work. Debt. This is essentially borrowed funds that you owe to a lender that will need to be paid in full, usually with interest. Some things to consider. Debt reduction versus debt management. Consulting with a financial advisor in order to show it show you how to tackle that debt, and then pay more than the minimum payment to rapidly pay off debt. How do you snowball that debt? Look at bank accounts and savings. Some things to consider, you have a budget. Are you making sure to track your expenses? Aligning savings goals with life goals? and understand how your accounts work. Do they gain interest? Do they not? Being able to ask your bank about these things will be helpful as well. Last but not least, retirement and investment accounts. Retirement accounts can be with your job or personal accounts. It's good to ask your employer uh, what your benefits are and what they will uh, be like coming out of your uh, paycheck every month. You can learn about various investment accounts such as IRAs, mutual funds, stocks, bonds, things like that. It'd be helpful to learn about various forms of insurance such as life insurance, car insurance, home insurance, etc. And then learning about appreciating assets and depreciating assets appreciating meaning that it will increase in value the longer you have it assuming you keep it in good condition or depreciating asset such as a car which would uh, go down in value the longer you have it and then disability benefits may affect how much you can save so looking into that may be helpful as well i hope you'll look after your financial wellness as you join us in celebrating living well month.